Welcome to Sport Fishing Adventures. I'm your host, Laura Braden, and today we are at Nooka Island Lodge, a place known for being rich in history and with plenty of fish to go around. We have a great guide, his name's Matt, and over the next few days, he will be taking us to some of his top secret fishing spots for bottom fish. Looking for some lingcod, hopefully, of course, gonna catch some halibut. I can't wait to get started. The destination, Nootka Island Lodge. Nootka Island Lodge is located in Nootka Sound on the west side of Vancouver Island. You can get there by boat or a short flight. Upon arrival, you are greeted at the dock by the friendly staff and set up with your accommodations. After a delicious meal, you can set out fishing. The fishing is just 10 minutes from the lodge. Here you can find Chinook, Salmon, Coho, Halibut, Lingcod, and Rockfish. Hey guys, here we are in beautiful Nootka Sound. It's a gorgeous morning. This is our guide, Matt, and we're getting ready to go head to head with the monster of bottom fish, the mighty Halibut. Are you ready for this? I think so. Yes, you are. You've got the bait going already. Yeah. All right, I think we better get started. <laughs> All right, so we got a nice hit here. Feels like a good size. <sighs> working on reeling it in from it's awesome it's only about a hundred feet really makes a big difference there because when it's 300 feet down whew, it gets tiring after a while <laughs> this is an awesome spot like only 10 minutes outside of the lodge yeah it's nice and close yeah it's amazing You guys have some good luck with some uh, some big halibuts here? Yeah, I've done pretty well with some uh, good sized halibut. Oh yeah. This looks like about a 15 pounder here. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Nice. Woohoo! Kind of look at it. There it is. Beautiful halley. All right, so with this, uh, with this one here, we're going to be releasing it. Going to see if we can catch some of the, uh, the real monsters down there. They like to thrash when they're up at the surface, eh? Yeah. yeah. Every release is a nice release. There we go. Beautiful. To the bottom. Nice. Good catch. Nicely done. <laughs> Fishy high five. <laughs> Alright, we'll be uh, putting the bait back on this. See what else we can uh, bring up from the bottom there. Mm. Alright. Halibut are hungry this morning. Got another one down here. Alright. Sweet. Just the drag a little bit here. All right. So Matt, what are we looking for in terms of uh, of the sizing for these halibut? Are we uh, looking for a specific size to keep, or? Uh, you're allowed uh, one one over 88 centimeters and one under. All right. What do we have here? Uh, it's a skate. Whoa! Cool. That's awesome. Do you want to bring it up front here? Or you deal with it here? I'll just uh, let them go here. Okay. Yeah, 
Is this is this skate trying to sting you right now? Is that uh, what it's... no, no. They're they're friendly, <laughs> <laughs> relatively. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't know those things were down there. Learn something new every day. <laughs> That's the coolest thing about bottom fishing is, you know, you hope it's a halibut, but every time you get something new. So get to learn about all the species down here. It's amazing. When we come back, we'll be targeting Ling Cod in Matt's top secret spot. Join Sports Fishing Adventures each week with our host, NHL player Brandon Morrison, ex-CFL player turned actor Chris Burns, Vancouver angler and actor Elora Braden, and expert fly fisher and renowned author Phil Rowley. We're going to let it go. As we explore and catch some exhilarating fish. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Adventures. Closed captioning brought to you by the Sport Fishing Institute. Looks like we are bringing in a beautiful ling cod. Just the most majestic of creatures. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> oh yeah. Matt, is this, a, is this a good size for a ling? That's a good size, yeah. yeah. So we got some ling already. Just want to get that bait back down in the water because the howlies are down there. They're hungry. Fish seem to be pretty hungry now. Another one on the sud. Oh. So they're, uh, the fish are hitting on both sides. Me and uh, me and Matt have our hands full. Matt, I think my fish is bigger than yours. <laughs> I don't know if he's there yet. <laughs> well, I caught mine. Oh, yeah, he's there. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's competition. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. All right. Oh, the ling struck again. Hello. What do you got there? Uh, it's not up yet. Not up yet. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Similar in size. Ling cod. All right, Matt, looks like you, uh, you might have won the ling cod competition. <laughs> you are the expert. Next time, except I'm gonna win the halibut competition, all right? All right? Sounds good. Okay, <laughs> here they are. Nice. Okay. I'm here with Tim Sear, who is the founding lodge owner in Nuka Sound. Now, Tim, can you tell us a little bit about the area and the history of what's been going on here? Yeah, my, my, my dad and my mom were involved at the lodge. Together we started it back in 1983 and uh, this is our 29th year. We're going into our 30th year and uh, we're very fortunate that this is uh, the birthplace of British Columbia. It's uh, where Captain Cook landed in 1778 mm -hmm. and uh, this, this is where BC started. Wow. So what can guests expect to, to have when they, they come to your lodge here? Well, we, we've been doing the same sort of thing uh, over the past, say, 30 years now. Uh, and it's ironic that we still have customers that have been coming for 25, 26 years, same, same folks year after year. And uh, it's a family-run business. My, uh, my wife, uh, my two children, Matt and Katie, and they're, both their spouses are been here for a long time and uh, what we try to offer is uh, we're in a great location, close, all the fishing is close by, 
and uh, we got guys that know how to catch fish. It's true. I got to see that firsthand. Thank yeah. you so much for having us. It's been it's a beautiful area. Absolutely love it here. Well, thank you for coming. Yeah. When you're bringing in these bottom fish, you want to do nice slow motions. Oh, there we go. <sighs> What's nice about that is you don't tire your, yourself out right away. Good. Yeah. Beauty. Up there. Just moved a little bit here, and already we've got something nice and big on the other line. Coming up, Elora hooks into a monster-sized halibut. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Adventures. We've got something nice and big on the other line. Matt, this is your uh, your favorite halibut spot, right? This is one of them, yeah. What's uh, what's so special about it? Uh, a little shelf here that uh, the halibut like to sit on the edge of. Okay. Ooh. All right. Yeah, sh <laughs> should be a good one. Yeah, I think so. What's the biggest halibut that Nuka Island Lodge has ever caught? Uh, 145 is the lodge record. <laughs> That's what I'm catching right now, it feels like. All right. Yes, gear. <laughs> this is, yeah. 40 plus anyway. Yeah? Right. I think we're getting closer here. Trying to keep it nice and steady. This fish is going to be nice and big, so it might flop around a bit as we get it closer to the surface. This is amazing. We're we're not very far from the shoreline here. We've got some huge halibut going on. It's great. This 
So we're starting to see it come up here. There it is. Beauty. So what do you want me to do as it's coming closer to the surface? Uh, we'll just keep them down just a little bit there. Okay. What a beautiful halibut. This is perfect. This is amazing. I'm so happy right now. Look at where I am. Look what I've got to show for it. It's a great day so far. And there's more to come. <laughs> I think we have something big down there. Just gonna take my time, try and tire it out a little bit. What do you think? Is that like a 35, 40 maybe? Yeah, it's fighting pretty good. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fine. Pretty hard the first, yeah, first hit. Pretty hard. Yeah. So Matt, here at uh, at the Nuka, Nuka Sound, what's the typical fishing season? Uh, we open the uh, end of June. We run into September. Okay. And uh, usually towards the end of June, you'll be getting getting the Chinook run starting to show up and right. the halibut are here year round, so. Nice. So you can be doing this year round? <laughs> Catching <laughs> these big ones? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I wouldn't want to leave. Can't wait to see this one. Stay tuned with Sport Fishing Adventures. Welcome back to Sport Fishing Adventures. Oof. I think I'm earning my dinner today. What do you think? Must be tired. He hasn't been, uh, been taking out any lines. That's a great. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I spoke too soon. He's fighting a little harder than the last one. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Come on, fella. Right. Starting to get closer, he is. Yep. All right, we're getting the first glimpse of this monster. Feels like a monster. Oh yeah. That looks awesome. So, what's easiest for you for me to bring it around? Here, you guys want that? Okay. Beautiful. Fish.
Join sports fishing adventures each week with our host, NHL player Brendan Morrison, ex-CFL player turned actor Chris Burns, Vancouver angler and actor Elora Braden, and expert fly fisher and renowned author Phil Rowley. We're going to let it go. As we explore and catch some exhilarating fish. Week to week, we'll catch different species in some of BC's legendary fishing grounds. From freshwater to saltwater, we're proud to bring you Sports Fishing Adventures. The show that gives you our tips on catching the monsters. Hey guys, we just want to fill you in with the gear that we are using here in Nootka Sound to catch those beautiful monster bottom fish. Now, most lodges are going to be giving you gear to use, but when I come out, this is what I like to, uh, to use. Now, the Shakespeare Ugly Steak is a great rod, uh, very sturdy, especially when the, uh, the bigger fish are biting. Uh, and that's in combo with the Pen 330 GT Reel. Uh, nice and smooth, uh, very, uh, very nice reel to work with. Yeah, and we were using uh, bait uh today along with uh, the big eye jig from Delta Tackle. Uh, it's working well today. Yeah, it worked very well and conveniently this is the same setup that uh, that you guys are using here, right? Yeah, this is uh, the same gear we use at Nutka Island Lodge. Perfect. Yeah, no, it was great. It worked so well, so that's the secret. It has been an amazing few days here at Nutka Island Lodge.